Hey, Freaks, Tim back here with you. Hope you all had a uh, great weekend, a great Mother's Day. I sure did. I was out of town this weekend, so here's the situation. Right now, I've got a best of show for you. Later today, a brand new episode of DV will be posted. And just to say I'm sorry, let me just go ahead and announce that on Friday, we will be doing a live stream. Yes, Nocturnal Transmission returns this Friday, 10 p.m. Mark your calendars. It should be a lot of fun. Right now, though, enjoy a best of show, and I will see you freaks a little bit later today. On today's episode of Distorted View Daily, one lucky listener will win an assortment of amazing prizes, including Armatron Classic Character Watches, featuring Snoopy, Garfield, Bugs Bunny, Barbie, and more. The fun fashion statement for your wrist, Armatron America's Watch. It's the Strata Scooter with BMX style handlebar and the XP Series Skateboard for the more daring. Both in hot colors or graphics, and it's from Veriflex. It's Risen Tell's Luggage Collection. The fun and inexpensive escape from traditional luggage, single shell molding, and rugged construction contemporary design from Resin Tell. It's the Konica A4 camera, a full featured, fully automatic 35 millimeter camera. It's pocket size and lightweight, make it the world's smallest compact available. It's the new DP Air Gun exercise bike for a total excuse proof workout at home. calories in from DP. You're currently stuck in the middle of another distorted view. Test of patience. Contestants not appearing on today's episode of Distorted View Daily will receive the following parting gifts. The Iowa CSD XW505 Portable Audio System with its new Euro design featuring Super T-Base double cassette recorder and compact disc player Iowa. What a difference. This time it's the Head Start Explorer Mark, a family computer with all the important software built right in. From Head Start, it's the leader in home computers. It's a fan! Fabulous new car! It's the Ford Mustang LX Convertible. You'll drive in style in this sporty two-door with this four-cylinder engine and power equipment group. Fun to run by Ford Motor Company. Your new car from Family Double Dare. Next time hunger takes hold, feed your need and reach for the delicious taste of Chef Boyardee pastas. Mmm, beefy. Hydro Strike, the game where you gotta be quick with those flippers or you'll wind up all wet. Hydro Strike, win or get wet. Skechers are fun shoes. Sneakers, boots, sandals, and shoes with lights in them called S-Lights. Skechers and Kids Foot Locker, a winning combination. Skechers, it's the S. America Online. With the Kids Only Channel and Nickelodeon, it's the most popular place online for kids. AOL. So easy to use, no wonder it's number one. It's Table Soccer from Sportcraft, a unique tabletop soccer game. The action is fast and furious, realistic looking players in field add to the fun. Sportcraft, the games people play. Um, Pier 1 imports this white willow picnic basket complete with colorful linens and plastic picnic wear. Make your next family outing a special event. It's the Lone Star Singalodeon. Whether you sing, rap, or shout, the Lone Star Singalodeon makes you a one-man recording studio. Now you can sing along with your favorite hits from Lone Star. A dandy new camera. It's the Fuji Discovery 400 Tele. A compact camera full of creative functions. Brilliant close-up, autofocus, and loading are only a touch away from Fuji. And yeah, they'll get fun. So why use an ordinary phone? It's Monday, February.
February 6, 2017, coming up on the program today. Have some yummy, 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 yummy pizza with me, a man with a really, really, really small cock, 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 cock. Plus, Trump hotels are heaven on earth, Italian Catholic orgies, and the search for Donald Trump porn lookalikes. All coming up today on TV. It's the Distorted View Show with Tim Hansen. The guy, he's in the dirty underwear or something. I don't know. He's sniffery. Yeah, Tim Hansen with you back. Start a new week of programs. This right here is Distorted View Daily. I will have you know, I actually spared you some misery today. We played that test of patience one other time, uh, about three or four years ago. It's one of my favorites. And uh, someone called into the voicemail line recently and asked why uh, it seems like I only play test of patience for sideshow members. People who are forking over their hard-earned money for me. I should be nice to them, not punish them. Uh, So I thought today I'd I'd do a test of patience. Now, when I originally played it, it it clocked in at over uh, eight minutes long of just the guy going through the prizes. But again, I thought I would uh, spare you today. You get the idea. Uh, Listen, I thought at the top of the program today, we would check in with an old friend. We haven't heard from him recently. Originally, I thought that was because, you know, maybe he had retired or he just got tired of being banned from every website he appeared on. I am talking about Tonetta. He's the creep that appears either nude, semi-nude, or semi-nude in drag, and serenades us all with original music, like Yummy 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 Pizza, or Fuck Me In My Shitter. The latter song uh, more accurately represents his repertoire. Yummy 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 Pizza is uh, an anomaly in the Tonetta library. Honestly, I don't think Fuck Me In My Shitter is a real Tonetta song. However, Cox is a real Tonetta title. Cuck-a-cuck-cuck-cox. Oh, there it is. After all these years, I still remember the lyrics. Cox really is a favorite subject uh, of Tonetta. He's got another song called Really Big Cock. Oh, I remember this one. Got a really, 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 really big cock. Right? I'm quite the Tonetta super a really, fan. Really, 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 really nice cock. Oh, really nice cock. That's kind of cool, make love rock. It's thick, it's long, it's well hung. All right, that's a really big cock. And then also, small cock, big heart. He dances as if he's just tweaking on meth. Sometimes he, like, wears masks and stuff. You remember Tonetta. This is quite the Tonetta primer. The top of the program today. Your pants came off, but baby, I said no. Because that little thing has got to go. Yet you talk to me and send flowers. I only wish your dear master about a small cup. Big heart. Your meat is trash, but your love is art. <laughs> your, your meat is trash. <laughs> I don't recall hearing that line before. All right, so there you go. That's a little history of Tonetta. By the way, let me just let you know, we're about, what, seven minutes into the podcast now. If I would have played the full test of patience, we still have like another minute and a half of uh, Double Dare prize package information. Yummy, 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 yummy. There's yummy, yummy pizza. Yummy, 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 yummy. So, Tonetta got... Ba- <laughs> That's one of my favorite songs. Uh, anyway, so Tonetta got banned from YouTube. I don't know why. My guess is, you know, he wears a lot of short skirts and no underwear. Only a matter of time before his dick flopped into frame or, you know, his, his balls dropped. He moved on to Vimeo, where he just went full nude. <laughs> Pretty much in every video, it was just his cock flapping around, right? So I don't know what happened with that. I do know he's now on Bandcamp, trying to make some money with his music. And I was blown away when I actually uh, looked him up, because he's he's continuing to produce new music, like this song. It's called Sperm Donor. You can see, you can, right, right from the very beginning, you can tell he's grown as an artist. Uh, this was just released um, this year, January 6th. Yo, Sperm Donor. Let my mouth be your deep hole. On a wood go, baby, let it flow. Let it go. Let it flow. 
let it go. Tonight has really taken his music into a new direction, a darker, harder direction. You can buy most of these songs, I guess, for like a dollar a piece, which is actually a pretty good deal. These are great songs. Here's the next one. This kind of has like a southern rock vibe to it. Sing about going down to the creek, drinking beers, getting with my girl. I'm inviting all my friends for a food party. Oh, it's a different type of southern rock. Not a pool party. A poo poo party for you and me. He wants everyone to know, like, I'm not saying pool. There's no L at the end of that. It's poo as in shit. The invitations are out for this. Dress casual. Dress casual, of course. Don't don't dress at all. Kind of want to know where this song's going. (laughs) It's going to be real smelly. (laughs) If you wish to take a piss on me. Well, yellow water, is, as you know, is my specialty. It's a pool party, and it's on you. So splatter and get splattered. I thought at first it was like Southern rock, but it, it's like... Kind of reminds me like of a 60s song or something. Because that's my... Baby wants to poo on me, la 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 la. <laughs> my motto. Wow. Come for a empty your butt. Take a tip from me. Shit, then the entry is free. Okay, all right. <laughs> I mean, if you want to hear the rest, you're going to have to fork over the dollar. It's a dollar in Canadian money. I don't know what that translates to to real cash. All right, one more Tonetta song. This one uh, is actually dedicated to me. Thank you, Tonetta. I'm a pretty faggot. I know how to bang it. I know how to bang it, bang it good. I'm a pretty faggot. I know how to bang it. I know how to bang it, bang it good. All right, that's enough of Tonetta. If you want some of his music, check it out. Tonetta777.bandcamp.com Next up, I've got another clip of Jim Baker. And the reason why I play stuff from him is he's so extreme. Extreme! Thank you. Rock out with your cock out, Tim. Yeah! What I mean by that is, I know if I was a religious person... I know I would be hopeful that Trump would continue pandering to me, but I wouldn't fucking slob his knob on television constantly. No, I'd be like, you know, and we got a president in the White House who is going to uphold the values of our Christian nation. Can I get a hallelujah? I pray that Trump is guided by light. You know, like, that's how I would play it. But Jim Baker is like a little puppy dog following Trump around constantly wanting to lick his face. Now, Lori and I went to Trump's inauguration and it just felt holy. Yeah, my face was cool. Lori, hush down. And you know, I looked up in the sky. Now, it was overcast, right? But when Trump started speaking, the clouds somehow lit up from behind. Now, the sun or some other cosmic light was shining behind. And it looked like the the clouds were bathed in gold. And you know, you know how Trump loves gold. And I heard a voice in my head, and it was God. And he said, you got your country back now. What are you going to do with it? And then I found a Mentos in the bottom of my purse. Lori! There were so many miracles that day. Lori, do you need your juice? Sip on your juice, Lori. Listen to this nonsense and tell me that it, tr- uh, Jim Baker's not sucking Trump's dick here. One of the events at Trump Hotel, I really wanted to be at that prayer meeting because there was generals there and people there, the Christians there. They, they, 
they had three tables of radical Muslims. Yeah, the radical Muslims were even invited to the prayer breakfast. What? What sort of nonsensical fuckery is this? Booked in that to, to hmm. destroy us. Wait, what? That wasn't a full sentence that made absolutely no sense. They had three tables of... Even at the prayer breakfast, you know, they're up against opposition, right? The Christians are are being persecuted somehow, right? It's a giant fight. Radical Muslims. Radical Muslims. Um, Radical Muslims booked in that to, to... Booked in that to book there. They were booked there to destroy Jim and Lori Baker in that hotel. In that, there weren't any background checks on who was being allowed into this uh, event. Yeah, I have a hard time believing that. And they had to throw them out. And they, and that was they found the they found it out like the day before. Are there news stories on this? Is this real? I'll tell you what. I would vote for Trump just in what he did to the old post office. That's right. Dude. You know, uh, Trump took an old post office in Washington, D.C. and turned it into a hotel. <laughs> I mean, he turned the old post office into a palace. <clears throat> and that's what he wants to do for things in America. That's right. And I'll that's tell you what. That's right. She's totally drunk, right? Lori is just three sheets to the wind. That's right. And yeah, I... Uh, it was a hotel. It was so beautiful. It's in America. That's right. And That's right. I'll tell you what. Yeah. And so, our so we get into... It, it, what the fuck? Is, yeah, this has something to do with our infrastructure. A hotel is not infrastructure! Right. And I'll... <laughs> This is what Trump means when he's talking about he's got to fix all our infrastructure. Yeah, it means he's going to just build hotels all over the place and throw his name on it. <clears throat> and that's what he wants to do for things in America. That's right. Yeah. And, uh, I'll yeah. tell you what. And so, so we get into... Do we have any pictures? Because, because streets uh, pave the gold. There's inside. If God builds ballrooms, it's... It's it's going to be nicer than Trump's, I know. But I'll tell you what, it looked like heaven to me. It was the most gorgeous, giant chandeliers, of course. He's comparing the ballrooms that God has created in heaven to uh, Trump's hotel. All the beauty, white and gold. It was just the most beautiful place. And they were singing about Jesus. They were preaching and praying and praying and preaching and praying. And I, I, I mean, and oh my. the town was filled with prayer, yes. filled yes. with yes. Bible studies. Yes. I mean, everywhere. Means everywhere. Yes. There were so many, then the balls that took place on the... Just like every year at the prayer breakfast, this is absolutely no different, right? Oh, girl, night. Same shit. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I'm telling you, the spirit fucking retarded that we've got. The, the, was the president there? Yeah, he was because he made those ridiculous comments. Right, the president has to attend a prayer breakfast. If God came in and he's sp- trying to run a goddamn country. In spite of everything, that's right. It's Jim, these goddamn religious people are making him do these things too. You know, not just Trump, but like any president, they don't want to be doing this. Everything going to prayer breakfast. There's this better use of their time. That's right. It's Jim wanted to see the lobby right. so bad anyway, and so it was just like God going. Okay, I'm going to let you see the lobby, and we're going to just have you. Oh, my God, Jesus. God, let us see a lobby of a hotel. Do you understand who the, who they're talking to? Imbeciles. Imbeciles watching television at 5 in the morning. Ball Wait, room. In this, a, a private ballroom. A private ballroom And it had area. food there if we wanted it, but I'd already eaten yeah. breakfast. But, and then Trump bathrooms. <laughs> you know what Trump bathrooms are. All I can They're say. not outhouses. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> no. There, there's a Trump bathroom in the hotel right there. Wow. Well, there, oh, yeah. oh, that's the mess. I don't well, usually have my picture taken in the bathroom, but yeah, I'll tell that's you. The mess. <laughs> well, I can't tell you the women's is. is I had a much. There nicer. was a man in there, and he. I love that he never lets his wife finish a sentence. He wanted a picture with me, so oh. I, we had a picture taken in the bathroom. Yeah, me too. But many. Man, I took so many. It's like a photo shoot in a shitter. Someone uh, investigate Lori Baker. She's got to be an alcoholic or something. And with that, let's get into the crazy, bizarre twist of the fuck up news right now. 
Not a member of the Distorted View Sideshow. What are you waiting for? Become a true and honorable freak. It's very inexpensive, and it really does help me out, helps the show out, ensures that this podcast will continue on for a long, long time. When you sign up, you get full access to the entire archive of programs. Plus, every week we do bonus material in the form of uh, full-length shows, mini-programs, video casts, and more. Uh, I've been promising a video cast. Actually, I did a, a weekend show, which was very fun. Um, and we did what? Another exclusive program uh, last Thursday. Uh, I'm going to be posting a video. This week, same deal. couple exclusive shows. Now, next week is kind of interesting because, uh, you know, it's my vacation. I'm leaving this weekend. Uh, but I'm going to have some new programs just for Sideshow members. Otherwise, you're going to get some best of shows. So I'm thinking the way it's going to work is though there will be at least two Sideshow exclusive programs next week. Brand new. Uh, it'll either be like one full-length episode and two minis or two full-length, something like that. Uh, definitely going to be a new one on Tuesday, and then we'll see what happens uh, throughout the rest of the week, probably like Thursday and Friday or at least one on Thursday. Uh, so become a true and honorable freak, superfreaksideshow.com, so you get new content next week as well as uh, this week and every week, uh, superfreaksideshow.com. Okay, three quick stories, then we'll get the hell out of here. First up, Porn is in the news. It might come as a shock, but there's now a strong demand for Donald Trump impersonators. Of course, I'm not just talking about uh, for like appearances or, you know, stand up comedians doing impressions of Donald Trump. I'm also talking about uh, lookalikes for porn. The adult entertainment giant X Hamster is running a competition to find the sex industry's answer to the president for a string of parodies. The porn site has been hunting for entrants with unique hair and small hands since November and says it has received many submissions. Users of the site have been asked to vote for their favorite in the final three, with the winner set to be announced during the first 100 days of Trump's presidency. In the auctions, the first candidate can be heard saying in his entry video, yeah, we're going out tonight, while po pointing towards a Melania lookalike. He follows on with, I'm going to be with this pig, horrible woman, but we're going to do our best. Another hopeful, dressed in a blonde wig, says, I'm here to tell you that I don't lose, okay? I'm not going to lose. He then asks, is this the face of a loser while holding a Hillary Clinton lookalike doll? The porn site confirmed that the Trump lookalike will have sex on camera once the winner has been revealed. The series of Trump films are planned to run for four years. Spokesman Alex Hawkins, uh, Hawkins said the Trump transition has been turbulent for all of us. We apologize for the delay in getting out this request. There is nothing more uh, that the American public needs than quality adult content parodies to help them understand the ever-shifting landscape of their executive branch of government. This is how we're learning about the world around us, through porn. Remember when young people used to just watch The Daily Show? to get their news, and then Trevor Noah went and fucked it all up. I mean, seriously, does anyone watch that program anymore? He's awful. AWFUL! It really does make me kind of sound like a racist, because, like, you know, he's black, or South African, or regular African. I don't know what the hell Trevor Noah is. But also, he, so he annoys me. And then around the same time he uh, took control of The Daily Show, Stephen Colbert left the program after, right, The Colbert Report, and replaced it with uh, Larry Wilmore in uh, that shit show. That was even worse. And I hated that show. I was, that was one of the first people that say, this show is awful. And I remember everyone was sucking Larry Wilmore's dick when that when that program started, and I knew that wouldn't last. And, you know, then quickly people started to turn. And by that I mean turn off the TV when Larry Wilmore was on. Awful program. Both of them need to go. Bring back Whitey, <laughs> right? We need a white host at the 11 and 11.30 time slots on Comedy Central. Thank you. Make America white again. Mawa. As well as having hair to match the president. Oh, you can't just use a wig. They're really going for realism here, X Hamster. Uh, X Hamster said, additionally, this performer would need to be in the best health of any actor to do porn, to have even more in common with the president-elect, whose own physician said that Trump is the healthiest person to run for president in history. The ability to harness both Trump's complete understanding of all issues without any actual knowledge of an issue, oh, come on, is also an optional trait. Why do you have to disparage the, pa uh, the president like that. He's our commander in queef. Oh my god, could you imagine if Hillary Clinton would have won? We could have called her that. 
if I would have just got out there, right, at some Hillary rallies, or, or even better, Trump rallies, and just been like, look, I know you don't like her, but think about this. She gets elected president, we can all call her commander in queef. It'll be great. Get on Fox News, CNN. Bitch would win in a landslide. I should have been her campaign manager. Hillary Clinton, 2020, or Hillary Clinton's corpse, 2020. I'm willing to run either of them. All right, second story we have for you today. An Italian priest faces defrocking. Well, that sounds sexual. Oh, that's not sexual. Uh, for organizing orgies. That is sexual. I know that word. On ch church property. An Italian priest faces defrocking after allegations were made that he organized orgies. Don uh, Andrea Contin. Contin, a priest in Italy, was accused of always carrying a briefcase full of vibrators, sex toys, masks, and bondage equipment. You know, I mean, if I saw a priest with a briefcase, I would think something was up, because what the hell does a priest have to carry around? What sort of important documents or contracts or something does, you know, does he need? All right, of course, it's going to be full, full of vibrators and butt plugs. All right, he's also accused of having as many as 30 lovers and taking trips with them to a naturist swingers resort in France, despite taking a vow of celibacy. The 48-year-old also allegedly concealed pornographic home videos in covers with the names of various popes. Oh, he's accused of farming out some of his lovers to men on wife-swapping websites. Quote, he always carried a briefcase full of vibrators, sex toys, masks, and bondage equipment. He probably picked up some of those at adamandeve.com. You know, Valentine's Day is just around the corner. Why not get your lover something sexy and then you could use on the big night? Just go to adamandeve.com, use coupon code FREAK, F-R-E-A-K. Boom! You'll get 50% off just about any item, plus you'll receive a romance kit, which might come in handy on Valentine's Day. That includes a little special toy for him, a little vibrator for her, and then something you can both use as a couple together. Uh, they'll also throw in a free pornographic movie. I mean, a romance movie. Let's face it, though. This isn't going to be like, you know, a Kate Hudson vehicle. Like, we're, you know, it's not a rom-com. It's a real romance. Heavy on the romance. Naked romance. Uh, and then, of course, free shipping on your entire order. It's not a bad deal at all. As a matter of fact, it's one of the best deals, I think, online. Half off uh, something? Anything you want? Pick something? Yeah, add it, add it to your card. Boom. Uh, so, yeah, use coupon code FREAK. You'll get the romance kit as well. Free shipping, that adult movie, adamandeve.com, coupon code FREAK. What are we talking about now? Oh, yes, the priest in his vibrator collection. One of his accusers told police all this information. She also accused Mr. Conton of encouraging her to have sexual relations with a horse <laughs> and beat her in the rectory. Oh, her poor butthole. Is that not what a rectory is? On two occasions, Claud Claudio Chipoya <laughs> said Mr. Conton would lose his role regardless of the outcome of the investigation. I am incredulous and pained by the accusations, he said. Even if at the end of this affair there are no legal consequences, we have a duty by canon law to take disciplinary action. The investigation into Mr. Conton began in December after three women came forward making the complaints. The priest initially denied the claims before confessing. Um, if he confessed, then yeah. Like, why is there even an investigation anymore? Another priest, Don uh, Cavazana, admitted to taking part in the parties and occasionally filming the events, but is unlikely to face suspension. Bishop Sapola said that the church did not yet have sufficient, uh, sufficient elements to reach a decision on his future, but that it was a different case because Mr. Uh, Cavazana, uh, his involvement was only partial and occasional, though not acceptable for a priest. So there you go. That's what's happening in the church. At least we moved on from children, right? Now it's all about S&M and horses. Final story we have for you today. A woman was kicked off an airplane because she supposedly showed too much titty. Were there nips? Because if there weren't any nips, there shouldn't be a problem. No nips, no prob. I think that's how the law is written. Uh, I think it was just mostly cleavage, though. A lot of cleavage. Brenda, 21, made headlines earlier in the week when she says that she was ordered off of a Spirit Airlines flight from New Orleans to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I feel awful. Oh, actually, you know, I think I have some audio of her. 
Now again, I feel I just feel like everyone is too dramatic these days. Look, you got kicked off a flight. I understand you being pissed. You make a couple calls to the airline. You bitch at them. You get a free flight. Boom. Maybe I mean if you don't receive a satisfactory response, okay, go to the local news about it. But don't start claiming PTSD. <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't cry on camera. How did it make you feel? I feel awful. I can't sleep. It's really, oh. it's really affecting me, actually. It's almost as bad as that one time I was playing Second Life, and someone's avatar brushed up against mine and started grinding, and I got virtually raped. Why do I keep getting sexually assaulted? I'm such a victim. All right, Brenda21 made headlines. Oh, yeah, I already read that part. Okay, I feel awful. I already read that part. She said that part. I can't sleep. It's really affecting me, actually. At first... Uh, flight attendants accused her of being intoxicated, claiming she was loud and belligerent. They asked me if I was drunk. I said, no, I'm fine. You know who tends to say just that? Drunk people. Ma'am, are you drunk? No! I'm fine! I'm fine! Leave me alone! All right, uh, it was then that Brenda claims a flight attendant raised the issue of her cleavage and told her to cover the fuck up. Another passenger took the photo to show what Brenda was wearing... Uh, and that it wasn't out of line. They mentioned my body was too exposed, and it was obvious it was my breast, and said, you need to cover up. She added, I feel if I was smaller or someone with a smaller breast size... Okay, wait. Let's let's uh, unpack that loaded statement. So is she saying that because she's overweight, they were discriminating uh, against her? I don't see thin people going through this. Triggered. Uh, she's not fat, though, really. I feel if I was smaller or someone with a smaller breast size, there would have been no issue. Brenda, a waitress, says she was so embarrassed that she put on her coat. Well, wow, once a jury hears that, case closed. Here's your million dollars. You had to put on a coat? What? No one should have to go through that. All right. Uh, so, yeah, she was so embarrassed. She put on a coat. She also makes the startling allegation that flight attendants were looking for any excuse to boot her from the plane and made up the claim that she was unruly and that her outfit was too risque. What I'm hearing from other uh, witnesses is that they brought on another crew member to fill the empty seat. Seat, Brenda said. A fellow passenger, Kathy Sup, is supporting Brenda's story. The way they treated her was horrible, Sup said. Sup was also kicked off the plane. There's no room for dissension on this airline. <laughs> spirit. They've got a bad spirit. Spirit Airlines has denied Brenda's claim. The woman's cleavage played absolutely no role in her removal, the airline said in a statement. The woman was removed because she was intoxicated and other passengers complained about her behavior. The airline also denies that she was kicked off the plane to make room for another crew member. Ken Padowitz, her lawyer, said maybe Spirit Airlines should change their name to Mean Spirit airlines good one ken that my friends is your distorted news for monday let's do a couple voicemails and get the hell out of here all right here we go remember if you'd like to uh, pledge a few dollars on uh, our patreon account patreon.com slash distorted view you'll get access to a special voicemail line cut to the front of the line on those calls uh you can also email me show at distorted look i love getting links to funny stories uh, audio, video, I try to play them on the show and I try to give you credit, so if you've run across something funny, please share it with me. Hey Tim, it's Ricey Fighter again. So I was listening to yesterday's show, and um, I don't know if any other freaks do this, but um, my commute's 50 minutes one way, so I listened to your show on the way back home and, motherfucker, get off the road! God fucking damn it. Well, anyways, uh, yeah, commute home sucks, so listen to your show much better. Much love. Yeah, Bye. a lot of people listen to DV on their commute. I like his little bit in the middle where he acted like he was screaming at someone. Horrible acting. <laughs> hey, Tim, it's Superfly here. Um, I was thinking about Dink Tim. Yes. And, you know, your, your moral quandary here of whether you should continue playing his, you know, puke audio... <laughs> I think your conscience is clean, my friend. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, you were very encouraging. Dang, Tim, send me your vomit. As he... Audio, vomit audio. I don't need any puke in my post office box. Thank you. I mean, you were very encouraging as he was going through rehab, <clears throat> you know, can, trying to get him to, to get his life straight. Um, 
the fact that he fucked it up immediately is really not on you. But, you know, think about it like this, Tim. Like, when you have, you know, Mingala or, you know, other unethical doctors... How did you know my cardiologist's name? That is so weird, stalker. I mean, you guys are obsessed with me. Crime against humanity studies. When we catch them, we don't throw the data away. I mean, we keep it. We <laughs> just throw them in jail, so... <laughs> I mean, fuck it. If he's going to do what he's going to do anyway, you know, let him use it on humanity's behalf. Right. I just don't want him doing it. So he's like, oh, Tim will have something to play. But I don't think that's why he would ever do that anyway. You know, he just likes to vomit. Hey, Tim. Placid and Taylor here. Um, I was listening to the Friday show uh, on the 4th. And someone in the voicemail said, like, he was in listening to the show every day before work for like the past two years or something, the past three years. And it got me thinking, I listen to the car on my way to work, you know, in the car. So it's like you are actually a radio program that, you know, I would want to listen to. None of the bullshit where I live is any good, but you know, um, that just got me thinking like, how does everyone listen to DV? Like, how do all the freaks listen to it? They listen to like at work or on their way home or like while they're jacking off. I don't know. I'll be curious to, to see how everyone listens to DV. All right. If you thought. guys want to call, chime in with a real quick message and say uh, how you listen to DV or when you listen to Disorder View Daily, that would be great. Yeah. I just wanted to say I loved your food chain radio bit. Uh, and I'd like to. Uh, oh, uh, the, uh, from the Sunday show, yes. Like to. Uh, Food Chain of Power! It's a new program I'm working on. It's gonna make me rich. Claim the name Profinocial. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm retarded. All right, and finally today. Hello, this is Mr. Demartini from ah! the High School of Telecommunications no! and Arts. And Damn it! It's always when I don't expect it. And here's the thing there's transcripts. Uh, of these voicemail calls. So I'm very careful now to look through. <laughs> I try to find the word Martinez, throw all those calls out, but I just, I, I, I miss, missed that one. All right, uh, well, let's do one more here. How about that? Oh, one son of a bitch. <laughs> your good friend, Vladimir Putin, calling from Mother Russia. As I called, said before, I called you. I would like to consult as part of Mr. Donald Trump's transition team with my good friend Timothy Asanovich. We are looking into companies to hire for offshore drilling in Arctic. I think with Mr. Trump, we will be able to make good cooperation. There are two or three companies. One is A. McDermott. I would like to consult with hey, you as a, a shareholder that about the use hey. of this logistics okay. and engineering firm for offshore drilling to see whether or not... McDermott. McDermott is the name of the company. It's so funny. I just picked that fucking name out of I don't know where I picked that name. So, you know, there's that um there's that app called Robin Hood. Is that the one? Yeah. And uh Or is it Acorn? I can't remember which one's which. Yeah, oh yeah, uh, Robin Hood. So Robin Hood lets you lets anyone, any idiot, buy stocks. And I invested fifty dollars, right, into um two companies. I think it was, uh, at the time, it was McDermott. I don't know what the hell they do. Some sort of, like, infrastructure. I don't know what they do. Uh, and then there was a solar panel company. And I really thought this solar panel company was going to uh, work out well for me, right? Because everyone's talking about solar panels and shit, right? Uh, that company tanked, and I started losing lots of money. So I dropped them, put all my money in McDermott, and then they started losing money, right? So my $50 quickly turned into like 20. It was pretty bad. And up until then, I was like, I am a financial wizard. I should totally invest more money into the stock market because I'm doing so well. Aside from that little solar panel slip up. Now, uh, you, the one thing you know about me is I'm very forgetful. Uh, and, you know, I lose track of, of stuff. And I, uh, I honestly haven't loaded up Robinhood in, in a while. And checked on my investment. Wow! Holy mother of shit! I have turned my $50, which was then turned into like $20. I'm now up to almost 70 I'm a financial wizard again! $68.93. This is my retirement fund! And a week ago, it was even higher. Oh, wait a second. Where we? Oh my god, it was up to... It was up to like an 8... 
eight dollars and uh, thirty cents, and then it dropped down. Um, but that was like a month. So it's, but it's like it's still over eight dollars. We're at like eight thirteen right now. Now, if you look at this graph, like the the year over graph, it's like shooting up. I, I you know, I, I I picked a real winner. You could do a lot worse listening to old Timmy Boo when it comes to your finances. Just, uh, why don't you just all give me your money, I'll invest it, <laughs> and then, you know, in a couple years, you'll never hear from me again. I'll be on an island with your money. Ah! All right, Timothy Madoff. Uh, that is all the time we have on this edition of the show. I want you guys to email me, show at distortedview.com. Distortedview.com is our official website. Voice mail on for you at 206-666-4463. That's 206 Oh god is it? Oh, god. Radical Muslims booked in that to, to hmm. destroy us. Spread the distortion. STD. Tell all your friends about the podcast. Don't forget to rate us and review us on iTunes. I will be back tomorrow if and only if you're Sideshow members. Yeah, it's another exclusive one. Uh, I will see you back on Wednesday, though, if you are non-paying freaks. Until then, have a great day. Bye, everybody! Tim can't come to the phone right now. He's masturbating in the bathroom. This has been another excellent podcast from the Scrod Media Group. Learn more at scrod.net.